For this video, I wanted to show you how to do a fold on top of the book in addition to the usual front of the book. Interested in learning how to do that? Hang out with me. Hi, I'm Diana. Welcome to Crafted Sweetly. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. All right, so let's get right into it. For this book, I'm using two patterns. One is, so this is, I'm from Cleveland, and LeBron James is our hero in the basketball world. I'm using his number and the silhouette of LeBron on the front of the book. And then I thought it would be appropriate to do a basketball at the top. So these are the patterns that I'm using. And for both of these, I'm using a cut and fold for the book. And I'm using Bukami for my uh, pattern maker. And again, for this as well, I have another video that explains the process of creating your own pattern if you have the image. The image I purchased off Etsy. And I have links below for all of these items. For I entered into Bukami the book height because I'm kind of looking at it this way. So this, you know, you've got, this is the length of it for the, where the LeBron James image is. And then this is the short one for the basketball for up here. I'm, again, I'm using the basketball first. So I will go to the page up here and I need to measure and I'm using, so this is the book, but I'm working with it upside down. I'm using the Inkra ruler and my kind of setup is I'm using the phone to hold it open because I want this to be open, but then I want to be able to have the Inkra ruler flush on this side here. And I have my pattern off to the side. So for this, what's nice with the anchor ruler is that it bends like crazy. So I will put this down here at the top of the book and just go down the line with the marking. So my second one, I did the first one, but my second one is 6.6, 7.2. And now instead of usually using this part of it, I'll use the bottom of the ruler, which again is nice that it has the measurements down here. So 6.6 and 7.2 and you can see the measurements right there for the two that I did and make sure when it's like this you know you can kind of see that there's a gap you want to make sure that the book is completely flush against this guide right here as you can see the measurements with this Inkra ruler once you have marked this pattern um, and I marked it all up here so you can see the little marks right along the edge for the 180 fold. I'm going to fold all of these pages and I'll do 20 at a time because it makes it hard to mark after that. So I will use this metal slider. It's from a folder. I will use this to turn the pages into a 180 fold so that they're all even and then I'm using a bone folder to get it nice and nice get a nice crisp edge to it so I'm going to do this with all of the pages but again 20 at a time is the best thing to do and for this again I'll use this image for the side of the book here once I fold over 20 pages the 180 fold then I will go ahead and make the markings like this on the page so once I folded the front of it here is my design so here this is LeBron James with number 23 and his profile picture I haven't decided yet if I want to color this in or not um, I guess I'll decide at the end now the other thing that I did was at the top I'm cutting out a basketball so um, as I was showing you earlier I marked all these pages and as you can see I've cut these out so now we need to fold the top portion of it and because I folded the entire book it's gonna be a little harder to fold this over without having something underneath it so I'm just using a ceramic tile I'll leave this out then 
we're going to go one tab in, this tab in, this, and this. So that's kind of the tab, those are the tabs that I'll be folding in, and same as before. It's basically a cut and fold at the top of the book. Okay, so that's what we need to do with the entire image at the top with each page. So um, with doing tiny cuts like this, you'll occasionally have a page where the tab doesn't have anything to hold it back just like here. So what I'm going to do is I'll just add just a dab of art glitter glue in between here to glue that piece down. Okay, so that way it doesn't, and I don't cut it off, I just glue it down. Now I know there's another piece here that usually ends up sticking up this piece because there's nothing here to hold it. This is gonna just easily kind of open up. So I add just a touch of glue here. Now for the top part, as I mentioned, I did a basketball. So for this, if I look at the side view of it here, these are really tiny cuts, as you can see. And I found it with this, when I was doing it, that it was a little tougher because the grain of the paper seemed to be working against me when I was folding it. So you may notice some of them are not completely straight as far as the fold itself. But when you look at it from the top, when you look back at the top of it, it looks totally fine. So with this I'll add a ribbon around the base because I want it to be, you know, I don't want it to be like this where it's a completely stretched out basketball. I mean, it, will, it may work fine here, but I'd rather have it a little tighter so that it's the shape of a basketball here and then this works perfectly fine here. Now with this book, you could color in all this area, you know, the orange basketball and then doing this in black. For this project, I think I'm going to leave it as is. I think it just speaks volumes like this versus adding color to it. So you do not necessarily need to color everything. So what I decided to do with this, instead of a ribbon, just a, with a bow or something, I added to the ribbon with my Cricut um, the word LeBron. So, and I'm using, I wrapped the book with the colors from his foundation, the LeBron James Family Foundation. So it's the green and gold. And there you have the project. So kind of personalized it, tied it in. Be sure to watch the other videos that are popping up on the screen for more book folding projects, but I do make tons of different crafting projects, not just book folding. So be sure to check those out as well. Thanks so much, and I will see you at the next crafting project. Mm -hmm.